Welcome back to the Electricians 2 channel. On the bench today, we have the Greenlee DM820A digital multimeter. <clears throat> this multimeter was released to the market for sale uh, somewhere between the year 2017 and 2019, according to the user manual. Uh, I'm going to just tell you some of my pros and cons, and then I'll get into the rest of them uh, during the end of the video. But I'm going to give you some of the key, key features about this multimeter now. Uh, I'm thinking, I mean, this is one of my pros in, uh, to it. Uh, this is a very serious meter. Uh, I would compare it against any fluke there is on the market. Uh, there are, I mean, those of you who have heard of a company called Bryman, this, comp this meter is a rebrand and uh, from the company Bryman. Uh, I don't know which model that Bryman um, that this is based off of, but this meter is uh, made by Bryman. And Bryman is a very serious multimeter uh, manufacturers all manufacturer also. So uh, this meter is no joke. Like I said before, I would compare it with any fluke on the market. I, I truly believe uh, as far as robustness and accuracy and uh, the usable features on it, it will, it will go against any fluke of the same class, pound for pound. But let me just read off some of the uh, <clears throat> key features that this meter have, and uh, we'll get back into what I think about this meter at the end of the uh, video. Um, the has a backlit dual display, and this is it right here. Those, if you can see it, a backlit dual display. It's true RMS. It has uh, measures of um, capacity, frequency, and conductance. It has a fast continuity test, <clears throat> voltage uh, detection. It has temperature measurement, automatic and manual ranging. It has a beep jack uh, lead test warning, meaning if you put it in the wrong uh, uh, input, as you down at the bottom, I think it'll let you know. It has a relative min-max mode, you have crest capture, <clears throat> peak hold, data and peak hold, and optional data logging. But you would need the, um, the PCR link cable, and that don't come with this meter. But the only thing when you do buy this meter, what comes with it, you get a carrying case, uh, you get the test leads, temperature probe, and a 9-volt battery. The leads that you see right on the side right here is not the lead that, leads that come with it. Um, I've mentioned in past before, and in, in, in the past before, I always change out my leads to my uh, meters, and I always use fusible test probes. And these are fusible test probes. These these are put out by the sold by the company called Reed, R E E D Instruments, and uh, these are have five amp fuses inside of them. So the, I use that with basically all my test instruments, fusible uh, test probes for safety. But um, anyway, this this and, and this also had this it has ten thousand count display, and it takes a nine volt battery, like I just mentioned, and this meter has a lot of usable features, and you know you can you can use it on the bench or in the field. I would have no trouble going to this meter if I was in the field. I, I truly think it would hold its own. And you can't say that with a lot of meters of today on a, uh, that's out here today, except a fluke, and they have a few others. But uh, as far as the robustness, this meter, the accuracy, uh, the build, overall build quality, I think it's a nice meter. Now, let me give you some of the, the, the pros I like about it, as well as some of the cons. Uh, I do like <clears throat> I do like that it's nice and large. It's not it's about the size of um, I guess you would say like an eighty seven a fluke eighty seven five, um, and I already mentioned the, rose, the robustness of it. I like that. I like the ten thousand uh, count display. I like the backlit dual display as you see. I like the back the backlight on it, dual display and the price. I would, if I had to compare the price, I would say it falls between maybe a, like a Klein or an Ideal uh, 
and a fluke. It will fit right in the middle between those um, meter prices right there. It falls a little bit lower than a fluke, a little, a little bit higher than the client or ideal. But you will get a, you will you will be purchasing a high quality meter, and that's just my opinion. Um, you know, if you see this meter and you see a Bryman, you don't have to buy the Bryman because unless it's the one that has more features than this one. But other than that, you can purchase this one because it's the same thing. Um, <clears throat> I now the cons I don't like about it, you can't the backlight doesn't stay on long. I think it's like thirty seconds. And um, I would like, I didn't see any way in the manual that you can, maybe I overlooked it, but I'm gonna look again, where you can adjust the backlight as far as the time, the, the duration that it stays on. I didn't see anything. And uh, I'm gonna look again. But if you guys know something that I don't know as far as keeping it, and you have one of these meters, or uh, even a Brian, and then you have, and uh, you can keep, uh, you know what I have to do to keep the backlight to stay on longer. Leave, leave it in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, so, uh, like I said, this is a really good meter. Um, I really like how it looks with the backlight on, and uh, I'm going to keep turning it on because I want you guys to really take a good look at it. Um, and I don't have anything anything at all to bad, to say about this, bad to say about this meter whatsoever. If you were to see this meter on the market and it's a good price and it's in good condition, I would not hesitate to purchase it. I recommend purchasing this meter. You won't be disappointed. Um, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I just want to just want to thank you guys. And before I end the video, those of you, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm asking for your support, not your money. Just hit the like button, subscribe button, uh, share the video, leave a comment, all in support of the channel. Um, you know, I'm not doing this to get paid or anything. I'm just, so I just love being an electrician, love to trade, and uh, those, and I love tools. So uh, those of you who think the way I think and you know appreciate what I'm doing, uh, support the channel. I would appreciate it. Leave a comment. I would, uh, I'll just read, like to read your comment, and I do too. And uh, I will, will, will respond to it as soon as I can. Um, but until then, guys, I want to tell you thank you. I hope that I covered just about anything, that, you know, everything I, uh, I'm uh, about this meet. I'm sure that I left out a few things. But uh, with that being said, uh, I want to thank you for letting me take up your time. And um, don't forget to support the channel. You guys take care out there. And until we meet back here again, take care. Later.